Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today we're doing, I'm feeding Leo down here, but today we're doing a Q&A of questions you guys asked on our, no, my Instagram. So we're just gonna get started. By the way, this is my husband, Jake. You guys haven't really met him yet. <laughs> okay. When and where did we meet? So I've known Jake forever. We went to the same school. So I've known Jake since I was 12 years old, but we weren't dating then because Jake is five years older than me. So that would be weird. <laughs> so we went to the same school when I was in eighth grade. He was a senior in high school and I just thought he was like super cute and everyone knew it and it was really funny because like, I don't know, it was just funny everyone knew. And he had a girlfriend at the time and she even knew. But anyway, so we met there, and that was like, what, 2008? I'm shaking. Okay. Yeah, 2008. 2008. Okay. When or where was our first date? In Philadelphia. Somewhere. <laughs> no. We went to the movies, I think, to see Batman. Oh, the new Batman came out. Dark Knight Rises. And you saw it for like the third time, and you, that's yep. where we went. Yep. Who said I love you first? Jake. When's your birthday? It's August 11th, 1994. When's my birthday? November 7th, 1989. Where were you born? Philadelphia. You don't need to know all the details. But he was born in Philadelphia too. What color are our eyes? What color are my eyes? They're like brown. They're like black. Blackish brown. <laughs> I don't know Liner what color brown. you're... They're like weird colors. Uh, which sport do we like the most? Well, both of us love basketball, mm -hmm. but like Jake's, I'm a soccer fan too, but Jake's a huge soccer fan. What's uh, your favorite team, soccer team? My favorite soccer team is Tottenham Hotspur. He's obsessed. We... I don't know. I think when you get older, I played basketball my whole life since I was five. So when you get older, you mature more, you expand. And soccer, within the past four or five years, I've been really into it and watch it every weekend. English Premier League and whatever team Ronaldo's on. Yeah, we like Ronaldo a lot. And I mean that, like, I know he's on Juventus, but whenever he switches teams, yeah, I'll watch him play. Where would we love to travel to? I'm assuming that's like where would we both go together, not like what's our dream. I'm assuming like where do we want to go together? Oh. I don't know. Where do you where do we want to go together that we both love? I'm Austria. Vienna, camera. Austria. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's like an equal thing. Switzerland. Yeah. Well, I've been to Switzerland. But like, I guess, yeah. What are our nicknames? <laughs> are we morning or evening people? I feel like I'm a morning person and you're a night person. Mm -hmm. Especially now that I'm a mom. Yep. <laughs> Any past event you would love to go to? Oh, that's a good question. <gasps> I know, but what's, what do you think I want to go to? I have no idea. Woodstock. Oh, gosh. <laughs> 1969. That would be the coolest thing ever. Any event? Yeah, like if you could go back in time, like where, what event would you love to see or be at? Can I pick a time period? Not a whole period, what event? Watching, if I could watch Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci do any of his work. Yeah. Our Painting son's name anything. is Leonardo, by the way. Now that I'm actually feeding a child down here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> How was it adjusting to the, how was it adjusting to Florida? For me, it was harder because Jake came here like with a job, so he was able to like see people every day. I have like no one down here, but I don't have like someone I can call up every day and like go hang out, especially now that I'm a mommy. My adjustment was the weather. Oh yeah, he hates warm weather and that's all we get in Florida. <laughs> right now it's not so bad. It's nice, the humidity is what's the worst. So you add 12 to 15 degrees. Like if you see on the news that it's 90 in Florida, 
it's not really 90. The humidity makes it feel, a feel like temperature is usually 12 to 15 degrees higher. So it was 99 one day, but the feel like temperature was 116. It was one of the worst days of my life. And I don't mind warm weather. I was born in August and I love the summer and I love the beach and I love swimming and I love water sports, but so does he, but like just not this much. Like it gets so hot where you don't even want to go outside. Like that's just not do, fun. You can't do anything. Like it's not enjoyable to be outside. Like unless you're in the water, it's not fun to mm. be outside. And especially now that we have a baby, like it's just too hot for him to be outside. But now it's been good. This week has actually been chilly. It dropped down to like 60 something. That was nice. When did you know I was the one? Day one. I'm not joking. <laughs> like I knew. We were gonna get married from the beginning. Yeah, two weeks. What? Well, I had an inkling and then it was like two weeks into it. I was like, yep, yeah. definitely. Yeah, there was like, yeah. I think we both knew like really, really early on like this was it for us. But you rationalize, like you say, oh, it's too early, it's too quick to know. And then when I was like, yeah, this is obvious, it was two weeks. Okay. Yeah, I guess for me too. What's the one thing that surprised you most about being a mom and a dad? I know who asked this question. Um, hmm. Well, I always like, okay, you answer this first because I feel like I still have to think about it. Um, what surprised you? Is that what it says? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if anything really surprised surprised me, but I I was people prepared you for the feelings that you were gonna have, but you didn't know Yeah. Nobody could they always said, Oh, I can't explain it and you really can't explain yeah. it. But it like that and the second you see him and your child, whoever it is, it, it's the first time you've had they love like at first sight and then it's just confirmation That's for how me. They get smart also. That you know, God put us together when you see him and you feel like you've known him your whole life and you know that that was meant to be or meant to have that one. Um, those were the biggest surprises that it was the, the intensity of the feelings, I guess. Yeah, I have to agree. Like also, we didn't know what we were having. We wanted to be surprised. So that, I don't know, when you just see him, like you didn't even care if it was a boy or a girl or whatever. Like once they're there, you're just like, like you know you're gonna love your kid, your child, but once you see them and you hold them, like all I kept saying when I was in the hospital was like, I just love him so much. Like I can't even explain. And I think that was a surprise for me. Like I knew I was going to love him, but like the way I do is just like unreal. I can't even explain it. I don't know. Like he just said, people always say you can't explain it. That's like a real thing. You just can't explain it. But I'll be honest. I did not realize how tired I was going to be. Like I knew I was going to be up and everyone kept saying to me while I was pregnant, sleep now because you won't. Like I really didn't know what they meant. Like I knew I was going to be tired, but like you're up all the time like you're just especially when they're first here like that those first few days you're like running on adrenaline and you're just like go 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 and you actually barely sleep and then it hits you and you're like wow like how am i even functioning right now and like of course he's how old is he he'll be three, three months. months december 11th so he's still waking up a few times at night and like it's just you're exhausted but when you get like those five hours of straight sleep you're like wow this is magical but honestly I really did not expect how tired I was gonna be and, and I'm young I'm only 24 so I don't know I just really didn't expect it and yeah. I'm breastfeeding too so yeah. it's a lot you sorry have to, you have to make sure that I don't know for me you're trying to support and you're trying to be there and you're trying to do everything you can first couple of days he was home I forgot to eat yeah I remember we were like, you need to eat, like you have, and that's one thing the nurses kept saying, like, did the dad eat? Did daddy eat? And I'm like, you know what? I don't even know. Did you eat? Like, you, you and we're like, we it, forgot. You literally forget. How many kids do we want? I literally could have like a lot of kids, a lot more. I wouldn't even say a number, but I could definitely have a lot more. But we've always said four minimum. Yeah. I think it's a good number. I, I don't know. Just go with the flow. Yeah. It sounds funny Whenever saying that. Whenever it happens, it happens. But 
But like, we just love kids and we love this little guy. And we definitely want him to have siblings. Like I couldn't mm -hmm. just have one and done. But if the Lord allows it, we would love to have a few more kids. But there is sure. a cutoff. <laughs> too many is too many. I don't know, like... I don't know. Seven or eight is a lot. I know, I know. That's like a lot. People don't do that anymore. Oh, well, sprinklers just came on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Any other, no other questions? Is that it? That's it. That's it, guys. Thanks for asking us questions on instagram if you don't know our instagrams it's the same thing well his instagram is like the family instagram so like the the godino family and then mine is yasmin shelton godino and thank you for watching say thank you for watching thank you for watching <laughs> just kidding do you want to say bye because he's, he's sleeping <laughs> he waved bye bye guys what are we, the bucket list family? <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs>